Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with Rangers. We're going to be taking on Dundee United just now at Ibrooks. Celtic are at Somerset Park to take on Ayr. You'd expect Celtic to win that one relatively comfortably in what now seems to be a battle for second place. If you've missed a couple of episodes, then you've missed the, the widening of the gap quite significantly. It's now 13 points between ourselves and Celtic. Uh, Celtic have a four point lead over Aberdeen and a six point lead over Hearts in the battle for second. So probably a range of Celtic 1 2 once again, but hopefully going to be a lot further apart. In terms of our record against Dundee United here, Mo Malpass is Dundee United. Uh, we've four victories over Dundee United. They've beaten us once and we've had one draw against them. Sam Byron will be missing, as will our new um, Argentine wonder kid. Daniel Cataldi will be doubtful and, and, and he won't play. Uh, they have three players doubtful Jordan McGee suspended. Lamin Sharif is out and Zach Rudden obviously on loan from us is ineligible. So Byron will come out for Podence and Houston will drop back to be the wing back there. Now, being at home here, I feel like I want to experiment a little bit. Uh, nobody on the bench I don't think is going gonna, is gonna to come up to feature. However, I'm going to bring in... Tim Gallagher and he will come in for Jamie Barjonas which means Andre Horta will drop back um, McGinn and Horta in the middle there and Gallagher uh, further forward I also want to start young Leandro Latiri ahead of Alfredo Morelos which is awesome Morelos is in great form but you know I just want to see what, what we can do there I'm also going to bring in Andy Gilmore for Ivan Aldo Fernandez um, just to give him some game time as well so how is he getting on uh, young Gilmore he's still very very raw um his strength is going up. Let's see how this is actually developing. His strength there, back um, back in March of 20... Is that March 19? Yeah, back in March of 19, uh, when he would have been, what, 16 or something, was 5.6, which would have registered as a 6 stat. It is now up to 11.4, so it will soon register as a 12. So he's been developing his strength pretty well. He can head the ball not bad. First touch and passing are a bit dodgy. Uh, tackling's okay, his marking's okay, so he's got a long way to go, but if we give him a lot of game time, I think he can get up there. I'm not going to mess up uh, the squad too much though, I'm going to keep some core players like Wallace and Fulton, Houston, Borthwick, Jackson. So just to confirm, the team will be Fulton, Houston, Gilmore, Wallace, Borthwick, Jackson, McGinn, Horta, Podence, Gallagher, Ojo and Letiri. So quite rotation quite rotation bloody hell quite rotated or quite rotational whichever one of those words I like one two three four regens actually in this squad so you know in terms of a league squad it is very rotational from us today we've rotated to a high degree before against Dunfermline in the cup but not really in a league game so hopefully this pays off for us we're going to encourage the boys as we always do we're just treating them exactly the same we're not going to baby them because they're a rotational side they're still expected to go out here and win today hopefully Andre Horta can continue his sensational form to start his career here uh, Shea Ojo needs to arrive a little bit he puts it in it's Latiri it's a good header from the young man but it is well wide of the post in the end 20 seconds though we register our first attempt on goal 4-4-2 four, four, incidentally from Dundee United didn't actually analyse their formation but obviously they'll be looking to be rigid and then hit it up to Nkoy and Ronan up front Scott Sinclair has given Celtic the lead already at Somerset Park Scott Wright has given Aberdeen the lead away at Tynecastle. Norbert Ballow double Celtic's lead Celtic probably going to be giving Ayr a bit of a hammer in there today um, Rogers hitting it long here come on head that away son nope Ronan flicks it on and Coy is somehow going to get there and Coy and it's easy for Fulton in the end awful defending but to be honest kind of planted it on uh, Andy Gilmore there and the one they flick on through Ronan Lewis Morgan's delivery now headed down and a shot's in Bruno Peroni for Dundee United who take the lead at Ibrox and I dare say the rotation has not worked today and Ian Fulton has every right to be raging at his defenders there he made a great save after they allowed Dundee United straight through and then right from the corner we don't defend it and we end up conceding anyway Ojo to Horta now and McGinn right we need to score forward to Latiri let's get this evened up quickly Latiri, Andre Horta, Gallagher 
Gallagher, nice pass for Latiri, has to finish one on one. What a finish from Leandro Latiri. Bullets it along the floor past the goalkeeper, and Dundee United are not ahead for long. Let's tell them to push forward once again. I'd like to go in 2 1 up at the break. I don't think I'm going to go in 2 1 up at the break. No, it is one apiece. As we go in at the break, um, Daniel Pedence has been really poor actually out in that right hand side. I'm going to assertively tell them that I'm far from pleased. Uh, Andy Gilmore has been booked already. Jordan Houston's also been poor actually. Uh, what way do we go with it? I'm going to go with O'Halloran for Pedence. Disappointed with Houston actually getting that really low rating there. Uh, but there's not a lot more we can really do. We're just going to have to keep faith with the rest of the guys. Dundee United get his underway. The gap will of course be shortened to 11 on current results. Celtic 4 nothing up now against Ayr. Ourselves obviously being held at Ibrox by Dundee United, which would be a terrible result. An hour gone. Not much sign of it changing. Alright, come on man. Houston with a throw. O'Halloran. Shows you still deserve to be in the squad. Over the top for Latiri. Is he strong against the defender? Nope. He literally falls over. There's Bruno Peroni, the goal scorer there. It's out to Woods. Woods firing it long. Houston is there. Nods it to Andre Horta. Quickly to McGinn and Gallagher. Good play, but he loses it uh, to Forrester. Brios Robson hits it long. Gilmore's there. Good header from him to find McGinn. Horta now. Gallagher. Don't you lose it again, young man. Latiri. Horta to McGinn, lovely touch, shoots across the keeper, it's a terrible effort though, floaty when it needed to be hard. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna pull Cat Gallagher off for Burjonas, he'll go back, Horta will move up just behind Latiri there, and uh, I'm going to bring Morelos on. Latiri has been poor today, but Morelos has been in good form, so hopefully he can come on and do the business. Uh, we're also going to up the tempo and go more direct with the passing. Push the defensive line up. We've only got 15 minutes left. We really need to go for it now. Borthwick Jackson chasing that. Dundee United clearance. Wallace now forward to Ojo. Nods it down. Borthwick Jackson fires across. in. O'Halloran's there. Back stick. What a save. Turn it in. Oh my God. How does he miss? How does Michael O'Halloran miss? An absolute sitter at the back stick. And Dundee United managed to clear the corner. There could still be a chance though. Houston to McGinn. Forward to Andre Horta. Can he thread it through for O'Halloran? Passes it to O'Halloran who I believe was offside. Alright, it's overload time. Take more risks. And we need to tell him to push forward. Rogers to take the goal kick now. Come on, defenders, be strong. McGinn actually tracking back, gets it away. McAllister pinches it ahead of Horta. That was terrible from Horta. Keatings plays it in behind. Gilmore away, only as far as Breel's zone. Nods it to Colclough. Ronan beats Gilmore, heads it to Keatings. Come on, take it off him. McAllister, Ronan, I'm a bit worried here. Ronan slips it in behind Murray Wallace. Keatings advances and Ian Fulton is strong. Thank God for Ian Fulton, but there is going to be something from this corner. Breel's whips it in. Don't let them do it to these again, guys. Plays it to Lewis Morgan, takes a nice touch, drills it, it's deflected away. Come on, counter-attack. Houston now. What the hell? I thought something was going to happen there. Two minutes left now. Uh, we're going to throw Murray Wallace up as a target man. And we're just going to launch it. Really disappointed in the results from rotating today. As Max Potter will throw this to Colclough. Can he quite pinch it? Ojo's clean is deflected. O'Halloran picks it up, hits it first time. Morelos has to work to keep the ball here as support arrives. Come on, drive into the box, past him. Gets to the byline, crosses. There's nobody there. Robson away. Morgan's header isn't brilliant though. O'Halloran now. Can he angle a good one in here? He shapes a good cross, but it's easy for Danny Rogers. Really poor. Rogers to kick now. Eventually, come on, stop stalling. Kicks it long. Keatings beats Wallace. Burjonas nicks it. Breaks to Shea Ojo, who's still waiting for his uh, first good game, really, for us. Horta slips it to McGinn. Slips it to Morelos. Buryatson. Morelos! 
<laughs> and Alfredo Morelos, the man in form with the dagger through the heart of Dundee United. They probably deserve more if we're going to be honest about it. We haven't been at our best today, but that's how champions work. Uh, champions will also not be too arrogant to think that they can't just contain the game sometimes. Let's just play super safe. Brilliant by Alfredo Morelos, proving why he's still the man ahead of young Latiri and Alberto when he gets fit. We haven't quite won the game, but we need to tighten up here. We're not completely immune to a sucker punch ourselves. Couple of seconds left, Ian Fulton to take the kick goes long. Whistle ref, whistle. And it is it is over. It is 2-1 to Rangers. Barely escaping here with a win. Um what do you say? I'll say well done. Do you know? I could have said that it wasn't a good performance, but I'll just say well done. We got the win at the end of the day. That's the most important thing. We remain 13 clear of Celtic. Uh, but I don't think we'll be playing that kind of rotated squad when we go away to Falkirk. Are there any standouts? Yeah, Aidan Wilson playing very well there for Inverness. Any other standouts from the Lonies? Doesn't look like it. Nope. And it's on to Falkirk, I guess. We'll be changing the team back a little bit. I think Podence will be coming out for O'Halloran. Podence did not impress whatsoever in the first half there against Dundee United. I think Gilmore will probably be coming out as well. Bringing in um, Ivanildo Fernandez again. I wanted to give Robbie McCrory a shot in goal. But I'm no sure now after seeing the Dundee United game. Might do it, might not. Nah, I don't think I will. Gilmore gets his wage hike to £600, which is fine. Easy win predicted for Rangers. Let's hope that is indeed the case. Falkirk sitting down there in 8th place. They're not actually out of the relegation struggle. They are quite possibly going to be the team who ends up in the playoff place. I hope. Uh, Bednarchuk can put in some performances between now and the end of the season and try and save them, hopefully save them I like Falkirk, I'd quite like Falkirk to stay up rather than, a, you know, a, who went down with uh, Motherwell went all the way down, didn't they? Um, who went down last season? Let's see Partick and County, yeah, I'd rather Falkirk stayed up than a, than a Partick or a Ross County came back up rather Falkirk and I'd rather Ayr stayed up as well but I don't think both of them are going to be staying up somehow right Pudence actually is on the fitness report there so maybe he wasn't at full fitness in the Dundee United game uh, Bednarchuk obviously ineligible for them Cataldi and Alberto won't be playing today we've played them twice beat them twice so hopefully we can continue that um, I'm going to bring Fernandez back in for Gilmore. I'm going to bring Burjonas in for Tim Gallagher, which allows Horta to push up and play in behind the striker, who will be Morelos. So Halloran will come in for Pedence. Shea Ojo is going to come out for Afif, who can come back in for a shot today. Odson Edward is on the bench for Latiri today. It's been a while since uh, odson has got a game. He still looks a capable striker, you know, Odson Edward. So hopefully, uh, what what is he ranked as a rotational player? So he should he should be accepting of not playing every single game. Uh, so that squad now is going to be Fulton, Houston, Fernandez, Wallace, Borthwick, Jackson, McGinn, Barjona, so Halloran, Horta, Afif, and Morelos. Sam Byram's ready to come back in on the bench. We'll we'll bring him on the bench for Shea Ojo, who has been disappointing. So that will be the squad. Hopefully it'll be a victorious one. 4-4-2 four, four, here from uh, from Falkirk. The main man, probably Tony Gallagher in there. How is he developing? Nah, he looks okay, but I don't think he's any better than, than Borthwick Jackson, of course, so we won't be moving for him. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and again, my goodness. Right, okay. So here we go against Falkirk. Morelos kicking us off, plays it back to Horta. And Wallace playing it to Ivanildo Fernandez forward to McGinn. Hopefully we can get a nice good result today. Lafferty has hearts ahead already in the Edinburgh Derby at Easter Road against Hibbs. 
this a chance to go 16 clear of Celtic before they play tomorrow Gallagher throws it to Byers back to Gallagher Byers back the way to Porteous nice touch Williams <coughs> remind me never to spray air freshener before I record again McGinn now to Horta and it's forward to Manelo he's got a lot of blue shirts running about him he use support and he goes himself gets it on target it's a comfortable save for the goalkeeper in the end but well done Morelos getting a shot on target in, uh, in those circumstances for Jonas now for McGinn into Horta Morelos Fernandez just over the bar that was the wrong way around there Fernandez teeing up Morelos for the shot would have been preferable Keeler done has St Johnson ahead at Pataudry so that looks like Celtic will probably secure second place now if Aberdeen keep dropping silly points <laughs> wow what a terrible half so much for uh, changing the team back to the first team squad uh, aggressively I'm not happy do you know I'm going to be aggressive because they, these are the first string 11 and they should be doing better than this um I don't even know who to change. I don't even want to change my loss because I believe he'll come up with the goods. Um, I'll, do you know, I'll bring Mitchell on for a thief. It's been a while since Mitchell's played out there as a winger. Shipples to Neesmith. See, Falkirk haven't even been in this game. Um, need to tell them to push forward. We need to go just grab a goal. It's been a bit lacklustre the past couple of games uh, Hippolyte against O'Halloran O'Halloran does win it McGinn now has got an option out wide in Houston goes the other way for Mitchell takes a nice touch advances on the keeper and wow um, to say he drags it would be would be pretty kind terrible shot Dundee United are losing at Tannadice against Ayr good for Ayr Stanton winning it though against two in the middle of the park Douglas Aurelio coming forward for Falkirk one back though well done McGinn Andre Horta now moves it quickly for Morelos who loses it to Porteous he's had a howler tonight Hippolyte Douglas Aurelio now Falkirk are in behind here Stanton can slip it to Nairn acres of space Brian Nairn 1-0 Falkirk what the fuck this has been abysmal um, who do we pull Whatever we do, we're going to be short at the back. Unless we do this. But Jonas is going to come off for Odds and Edward, and we're just going to launch it. 25 minutes to go, but we're already having to go Route 1 here. Hopefully, Odds and Edward can win some flick ons or something. Pudence is going to come on for O'Halloran, who's been shocking today. Alright, and it's going to create an immediate piece of action whether it pays dividends for us or allows Falkirk in is another matter Borthwick Jackson heads it to Mitchell moves it wisely and quickly to Andre Horta who looks up for Morelos takes a touch takes a shot it's another poor effort from Morelos what has happened to him? he came on to be the saviour in the last game and he's been absolutely hopeless today a scully goes long Nairn flicks it to Douglas Aurelio he's got a runner from midfield it's Stanton it's a chance for two Stanton shoots it's a terrible effort but it remains 1-0 to Falkirk. 18 minutes to go now. Scully. Another long kick for Falkirk. Fernandez should easily deal with this. Heads it away. Borthwick Jackson is not going to get it. Mitchell jumps in and nicks it. Well done, son. Uh, Odson Edward wins the header, but Stanton will pick it up. McGinn has to put more pressure on him than that. Goes back to Gallagher now. Moves it to Stanton. Easy ball to Hippolyte. Hippolyte takes a touch we're not getting close enough here McGinn does well though moves it back the way to Ian Fulton Ian Fulton now just go long plant it right on Odson Edward knocks it long Horta wins the flick on in the end Morelos tries to play it to Edward deflects McGinn tries to play it to Pudence loses it Douglas Aurelio now chance to play it in behind does Nairn is in chance to be a hero again beats Money Wallace advances on the keeper and it's Brian Nairn Again, what the hell is the deal with this boy? He's bang average, you know. Jesus Christ. Show some passion. 
don't just lie down to this lot, right? Uh, <laughs> this could get ugly now. This could get real ugly, playing a wide three at the back like that. Especially given Falkirk are just knocking it long. Fernandez to Wallace. Thought that might have been a chance there. Let's see if we get anything out of this. Shippers knocks it long to Brian Nairn, who, by the way, is on a hat trick. Tries to play in behind. That's a shocking piece of defending from Wallace. Douglas Aurelio's shot is easy for Ian Fulton in the end. We've got three up top now. Two big men up there to win the headers. We're thumping it long and we can't create a damn thing. Shocking performance. Absolutely shocking. Header away. Nairn down on the chest. Plays it to Douglas Aurelio. Easily cut out. But it's going to end 2-0 to Falkirk here. Abysmal. Absolutely abysmal. I don't even know what to say about that. That was the worst performance I've seen in a good long time for this lot. What do you even say? Morelos, interaction, one player. Criticised last game. Squandered a lot of chances. You need to start putting the ball in the back of the net if you want to stay in the team. I think it's unfair. I hardly had any chances. Nonsense. I'm your manager. I don't appreciate that tone of voice. Stands by what he said. I don't give a shit. He was awful. Terrible stuff. Well, that is not a good note to end on. A horrendous performance. Do you know what? We've as well seen Celtic's result. They could move back to within 10. By the way, at 10 points, they're in the, they're, they're in the hunt. Because there's still two old firm games to go. They could easily beat us both times. And that knocks it down to four points. And if we play like we did there against Falkirk, we could well drop four points. Celtic at home to Dundee. Four nil, cut the gap to ten. And all of a sudden, I think there's a title race back on. We have to be careful now. Um. Yeah, that was a shocking performance. Needs rectified big time. Um. Uh, all of a sudden, there's a title race back on, and the irony of the fact that we played the rotational team against Dundee United, got away with it, played the full team against Falkirk, and were horrendous terrible result I mean I suppose on the plus side I wanted Falkirk to stay up didn't I we just gave them a huge boost they're 8 points clear of that uh, playoff place now huge boost for Falkirk uh, well next time out uh, we're away at Dens Park to take on Dundee in the Scottish Cup 5th round competition of course we've won every single season thus far we want to retain that hopefully it'll play part in a double as it did last season and then Air United are coming to Ibrox, a game that we really need to win. We need to go out and clobber them, actually, get back on track. Who will Celtic be playing when we play Air? Uh, we'll be at home to Air United. Celtic will be at New Douglas Park against Hamilton. You'd expect them to win still. They're actually in good form now, aren't they, Celtic? Let's see. Yeah, they've won the last one, two, three, four, five games, conceding one goal in the process. Since they lost the old firm game, they've, they've kicked it up a notch. But hopefully actually playing Palk Salonica there in, in the Europa League hopefully that fixture congestion screws them up and they, they drop some points there but who knows I'm certainly a lot less comfortable than I was at the start of this episode shows we still have a horror performance in us every now and then that's the first game we lost since we lost 5-1 at Tannadice so this team does have a howler uh, it has a howler in it Anyway, I'm not going to dwell on it for too long. Hopefully we can just kick on next episode uh, and put that behind us. Uh, as I say, we will be at Dens Park and then at Ibrox against Ayr. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Uh, nice, exciting win against Dundee United and then a horrible show against Falkirk. 
shown that the team is still fallible and certainly my decisions are as well I think Jordan Houston perhaps because he's been trained more as a winger now can he really pull off that right back role anymore so perhaps we don't want to use him there uh, in the future perhaps needs to be further up the park now but as I say hope you guys have enjoyed the episode if you have done please drop down below and click that like button uh, of course if you want to follow the series to see if we do in fact lead uh, sorry lead see if we do in fact lift the title with this massive lead that we have just now you can of course subscribe which I would be hugely appreciative of we're pushing now towards uh, that 200 subscriber mark which would be amazing to reach uh, but yeah as I always say basically just want to say thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time when we look to get back on track away at Dundee and at home to air